I put a post out on Instagram asking for your questions on the Super Sicento. I've got them on my phone here and there's actually a lot to get through. So without further ado, let's crack into it. I think people should be more creative with the colour of car they choose. It means we get more interesting looking cars on the road. As a bonus, I never have trouble spotting this thing in a car park. I just look for the one yellow one in a sea of dull monotone colours. Yellow all the way. But then again, there is that respray coming up. Next, Blue Cinquecento asks, if the Super Cinquecento broke and you could only replace it with a Cinquecento SX or a Cinquecento Sporting, which would you choose? Thanks for that, mate. I think I would go with a Cinquecento because with a Cinquecento Sporting, you can get it in yellow. All the mods I've got on this will transfer straight over pretty much. And there's the added bonus with a Cinquecento Sporting of red seat belts. And to be perfectly honest with you, I really, really want a set of those red seat belts. If you've got any for cheap, hit me up. I love this car to bits, but buying a standard Cinquecento, if I couldn't get a Sporting, it wouldn't be yellow. And to me, this car should be yellow. That's the whole point of its character. Like I just said, it's loud, it's leery, it's different. It should be yellow. So if it ain't yellow, I'm not having one. Sam Laws 25 asks, does the exhaust pop? I'm gonna put a disclaimer in this right now. The car doesn't bang or shoot flames because I haven't got one of those stupid remaps on it and the car does have a cat in it still because I obey the law. It does, however, make a pretty wicked noise and depending on what you're doing with the throttle, it does make the odd pop here and there. I've got a few clips coming up now of the car revving when stuck stationary in the old shell and driving at speed in the new shell to give you some idea of the wicked noises this Sportex exhaust makes. <laughs> Didcot asks, what events will the car be at in 2019? I wish I knew, is the honest answer. I know two for certain is going to. It is going to be at Festival Italia Brands Hatch 2019, and it is going to be going back to Poland in 2019. Beyond that, though, I've got no idea. I'd like to go back to Fast Show, but I would imagine probably more as a spectator than as a displayer. I would like to get to Ultimate Streetcar this year as well, but bearing in mind that this isn't a Volkswagen on BBS reps that's been slammed to the ground on cheap coilovers, I might not fit in with that crowd. Beyond that, though, I've got no idea, but if there are any shows I'm going to with this little beast, you'll be the first to know. Tom Ridley 1905 asks, are there any track days planned? The answer to that, my friend, is absolutely there are. I do want to go on track with this car this year, partly to try and actually drive it properly fast, but also to get some track driving experience in to learn how to drive on track. That said, there is a lot more things to do to this car first in terms of the exterior, the interior, loads of other stuff, and I do want to put some much better tyres on it, because at the moment, it spins up the wheels when you pull away on a slightly greasy roundabout. So to be honest, I don't really trust them to be flying around Brands Hatch at 80 miles an hour. DLW2810 asks, what kind of MPG does the Super Sicento get? The answer to that is not very much. The standard Sicento uses hardly any fuel at all. It does between 40 and 50 miles to the gallon, even round town, depending on how you're driving it. However, with this engine, with the 1242 engine in it, with the 866 cam, and with that ported throttle body on it, I don't really know. But would you like to see a proper Super Sicento economy challenge? Let me know in the comments, because if you want to see it, we'll do it. We'll find out just how thirsty this modified car is. Is. Alex Mudds asks, are there any plans to change the wheels? Yes. Yes, there are, because as much as I do like those 14 inch bath ones, I think they are a really, really cool set of wheels. They're a bit too standard looking for my taste. Every modified Cicento and quite a lot of Cinquecentos do have them, and I don't like that. I like standing out from the crowd. So, yet, yeah, once I can find some wheels that do actually fit the car, I am going to put them on. I love the enthusiasm you guys have got for this car. You seem to love it as much as I do, and you're always keen to see what's going on with it next. Even looking at all the questions, I mean, Ed Hooper's asked here, 
Would you do another project instead and what would it be? To be honest, I'm reluctant to answer that at all now, but given that you asked, I will answer it because I'm always open to these things. The simple answer is yes, I do want to start another project car for the channel this year. But that said, with all what I've got planned for this and all my bike stuff I've got going on and the potential future for more traveling as well, that's very costly as well. I don't know if there's going to be the time or the money or frankly the mental capacity to start another project car. I hope to, but no promises. So to be frank, just enjoy this. This one, it's awesome. Now, bearing in mind how much work went into changing the engine in the Super Sicento, fitting the new cam, the new throttle body, the performance exhaust, all that kind of stuff to make this car sound and go so much better than it did standard, you'd think that you lot would be happy with what it's doing right now. But apparently not, because I got a lot of questions. I'm going to put them all on the screen right now from a lot of you asking basically the same thing. When is there more power coming? Are you going to do an engine swap? Are you going to put a 16 valve in it? Are you going to turbo it? One guy even asked, are you going to swap a motorbike engine in? You all want to know, when is this car getting more power? And the most common one is, are you going to turbo it? Just be grateful for what you've got, guys. This thing's awesome how it is. But seriously, there may well be more power coming. The 1242 is a wicked little lump, and with all those little mods on it, it sounds incredible, and it does genuinely make the car feel and go faster, talkier, meatier. It is a really, really good, simple, and cost-effective engine swap for your Sechento. However, it's still not actually a fast car it feels fast but it's still not even really as quick as a basic abarth 500 i want to change that though so in around all the bodywork and interior stuff i do want to try and give this car more power i haven't yet decided whether we want to go hardcore tuning this one we want to turbocharge this one or we want to put a 16 valve in or anything else like that i'm still working out what's going to be the easiest the most cost effective and ultimately the most fun but i am in the process of working it out Turboing it does seem to be the best option, but also it is expensive to do. The insurance at 20 years old with only two years no claims is going to be ridiculous. And frankly, I don't really know how much boost you can put through that engine before you start having problems. <laughs> I'm going to have to do a bit more investigation into what's going to be the best, easiest and frankly most affordable way to make this car faster. But yep, if we've got the time and I've got the money, it's going to happen. So those are your Super Zicento questions answered. I'm so pleased that you guys are as enthusiastic about my car as I am. I've already said this is my forever car and now I've said that the brief for 2019 is to build the best Zicento in the country. We're going to come back to this spot in December 2019, look at everything we've done this year and decide whether I've met that brief or not. But there are so many things planned to make this car into not only the best Sicento in the country, but also into my ultimate dream build. I can't wait to see how this car evolves and ultimately what it's going to be like by the end of 2019. And I can't wait to bring you on the journey with me. For now, though, that's enough sitting in a field. Let's get back on the road. <laughs>